ambitious script for 18 days, but we're okay. yeah, getting it done as best that we can. And I think that the, the talent is down for the doing whatever it takes to get it done, and so is the crew. And I think it's going to be an awesome movie when it's done. Oh, set, reset. Here we go. Here we go. And action. Round out, fire him up, and let's try not to hit anything but pork. Okay, let's go! Uh, Bigfoot has always fascinated me because there is something out there, you know, uh, and it, you know, whenever you see that footage of Bigfoot running through the, the bushes, you always, immediately you think, I wonder if there really is a Bigfoot out there. No more. You don't scare me. Cut, 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 cut. My name is Wade Riker. I'm in charge of the Bigfoot creature makeup costume, and I was um, brought on for this project. I had to come up with a concept idea for the Bigfoot, and it's a matter of coming up with. Do you want me to look at um you? Yeah, or? yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, um, um, when I was brought into this project, it's I try to do a lot of research as much as possible. I try to think of, um, you know, what would look good on camera and what everyone thinks the Bigfoot looks like. So I first went through, like when I go to my daily Starbucks, I ask people what they thought Bigfoot looked like, whether it's more ape or more human. And I get the, the consensus that it's more about, you know, the ape. So knowing that and then looking online to different artists who have come up with their own concept ideas of what Bigfoot looked like, I was able to then make my prototype of what I thought Bigfoot would look like. Mm -hmm. um, you know, he's, he's half human, half man, half human, half man, I'm a cut. Does he ever fall asleep while you're putting it on? Oh yeah, why not? <laughs> <laughs> and um, you know, he has a certain walk, like he has weight on his shoulders and he has that stride, and then when he looks at it, he keeps striding, and those long strides. So, you know, it's uh, a great costume. We're trying to give the characteristics of his movement so we can have a real believable Bigfoot in this movie. In 1967, a guy named Roger Patterson, who is now dead, um, he uh, was out out in the forest with a, a friend of his and they stumbled on something walking through the forest and he had his 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 eight millimeter camera it was a 16 millimeter camera and he jumped off his horse and he ran after and he filmed it and i think it's about 19 seconds of footage of this thing walking through the woods and this film itself is sort of based loosely on the character of patterson uh, the character that that uh, lance henriksen plays is um, a guy named chase jackson who is modeled after Roger Patterson. When, when, when you read a script like this and it's well written, uh, even though it's a genre piece, um, it's a challenge. I mean, there's a lot of challenges in it. So you don't really think of it as anything more than an adventure and see what's going to happen. And the adventure happened and it started and I've had a great week. God, I've had a great week. It's been um, uh, very revealing and, and I'm working in a, in a way that, personally that, I, that I'm really happy about. Did you hear about the robbery? Yeah, the phone's been ringing off the hook. They shot him down right in the middle of the street. I'm sure Harris has it all under control. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing that my daughter was trying to get me to do. Yeah. You know what I mean? Except it's the acceptance. Yeah, acceptance. Yeah. It's, uh, that's okay. Hold your guys. You know, just kind of go this way. Oh, fuck. Okay. Ow, shit. Yeah. I used to know it. Have you ever done a Bigfoot movie before, Mr. Thomerson? Uh, no. No? No. I did a... No. Damn fools are stepping right into the mouth of Satan. You ever seen Bigfoot before? Yes. Yeah. Yes, I've seen Bigfoot at the mall. To be honest with you, as interested as I am in Bigfoot, I'm more interested in how we respond to Bigfoot. You know, I mean, so we get a, a, an ape that lives in, in the forest. I mean, 
the, you know, what about, that's not what's so interesting. I mean, what's interesting is the mystery of it. What's interesting is how we, we, we sort of perceive it or what, you know, we wonder about. I mean, it's, these questions is what's interesting to me, not so much the, the answer. Paperwork and paperwork and paperwork and paperwork. And then I get to go to set and get all stressed out. So it's a good week. Sound rolling? And you can you can play a little bit of that in in, in just in your body. Well, I'm taking off my my scopes because I got you know I got shit to do. Well, I gotta yank these things off. Okay. Here we go, guys. Stephen Monroe, um, he's a film fan, which is. Another big plus for him. He he knows his movies. Um, he uh, he loves what he does. He doesn't want to do anything else. Our director, I love our director, the wonderful Stephen Monroe, um, wonderful and talented Stephen Monroe. Um, you're gonna um, he's gonna toss you on action. You're gonna land. Yeah. You fall back. You look up as he's coming at you. You raise the gun. Yeah. And then he'll, he'll jump on you. He'll start pounding. You know just. You know, like kick your leg once or twice and then just start dying when you keep beating. Yeah, because once that thing hits you twice, you're out. You're out. <laughs> you're out. You, you like working with a director like that because he has a vision and uh, he knows where the story is going. We got some really good stuff in the can. Very talented director. He's not in the room either, so I can really say that. So it's not just kissing his ass. <laughs> This is the harness that uh, they used to launch me into the uh, into the little bush there, and, it, and as you can tell, it takes a little while to get it on and get it off. But this is a important part of the uh, stuntman uh, repertoire. Thank God I don't do that crud anymore. You can tell what kind of budget we had since I got to wear this thing and not the stunt guy. Uh, Michael Worth. Great. Thank you, Michael, because basically I was saying to him yesterday, we really appreciate people like you for having that drive to write, direct. He didn't direct this, but he has done. Produce, get money, get us on set. He keeps us working in the arena in which we want to work in. Keeps me working with new actors, new meeting new people. It's just fantastic that he's got that drive and the talent to go with it, which is... Uh, you know, a testament to his ability. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I think that that that'll be the thing you're dueling over everybody for. So even that scene when you have it on the table, yeah, it's, yeah, just, it's just it's just a duel with this, you know, going on. So it's all good. It's my third film with Mike this year, and uh, part of the Worth Players. Those people. Are you still voting for a communist? Are you still voting for the communists? You can't hear me. Why? You can hear Michael, but you can't hear me. <laughs> I'll fucking take this. <laughs> <laughs> How come you can hear me and you can't hear him? It's that. the weirdest what thing. <laughs> What's wrong with that? How could that be? You're know. standing right next to me, man. He was asking if you still vote for the commies. <laughs> How can she hear me? She says, of course. I don't get it. I'm standing <laughs> He's totally confused. three feet away from you, man. You can't hear him, but I, I can hear you. I need some pudding. I need pudding. <laughs> <laughs>